Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can unlock your FPS and increase your FPS by maybe hundreds and even thousands. Bro, I'm getting infinite FPS. What? So we're going to do that by using this application called Block Straps. I'm not just going to be showing you guys how you can increase your FPS using Block Straps, but I'll be showing you guys a feature in Block Straps that could further increase your FPS. Now before we start, if you want to check your FPS, head over into a game and hold Shift and F5, and in the top left corner you should see your FPS. As you can see, I'm getting a steady 60 FPS. You guys can ignore the other stats because that's not relevant to this video, but all you need to see is the 60 FPS. Alright, first thing you want to do is open up your search engine, go to your search bar and type up block straps. Now, first link, it'll be a GitHub link, Pizza Boxer and Block Strap. Now, once you're inside of the GitHub, scroll down until you find installing page and click on the latest release of Block Strap. Once you click it, scroll down, you can find the Block Strap V2.5.4 EXE and click on that and it should automatically start downloading. Once the download has completed, head over to File Explorer, go to Downloads and locate the Block Strap application. Double click the Block Strap and it should open up the Block Strap menu. Now on the first page, there isn't much you really need to do that will increase your FPS. Most of it is just enabling your activity tracking, which basically just allows Blockstrap to track your activity, just like what it says to do. Now, I have it turned on because certain features may require this, so it's good to leave it on. It won't, like, affect your PC or anything. See your server location. I really don't have this on. It's a bit annoying. Discord rich presence. This is basically, like, the activity on Discord. When you're playing a Roblox game, like, for example, the Strongest Battlegrounds, under your Discord profile, it will show to other people that you're playing the Strongest Battlegrounds. Allow activity joining. I think this is a pretty cool feature, but I have it off as anyone who looks at your Discord profile can join your Roblox game through the profile. Miscellaneous, I've never had this actually work, but it basically allows you to open up multiple like Roblox games in one client. Alright, next we're gonna move on to the mods tab. Mods page, I think the presets are pretty cool, like using the old death sound because they replaced the oof because it was copyrighted, I believe. So I have that turned on because I want it back. Mouse cursor, I can bring back the old styles, which is pretty cool, but I like the default as it's just a default cursor. And all these other presets you can customize to your likings. Now, fast flags, this is basically the main part of this video. So as you can see under the presets again, you can see a frame rate limit. And over here is where you can change your frame rate limit. Now obviously you would want to set it to 9999, which I do because I know my PC can handle it. But if your PC does struggle a little, like even a tiny bit, I advise you to set the frame rate limit to 10, 20, or even 30 if you want to really push it above of your monitor's hertz. Or basically your refresh rate, same thing. So let's say your refresh rate of your monitor is like 244 hertz, you want to set your frame rate limit to around 260 or maybe even 70. So if I knew my PC didn't run that well with like maximum graphics, I would turn this down to around 260 as I have a 244Hz monitor. But I know my PC can handle it so I'll be putting it to 9999. You guys should also test out quadruple nines and see how it works and if it doesn't work well just do what I told you to do earlier. Next, preferred lighting technology, you can change this to whatever you want but I usually just do chosen by game as I like the normal lightings. Next is preferred escape menu version, cool thing about Blockstrap is it keeps all all of the old Roblox updates, just like the bring back the old death sound and the mouse cursor. And just like that, you can change your old escape menu versions on Roblox, so this is the new one to whatever you want. I'll change it to version like 1 just for the video. Okay, enable ability to hide GUIs. I really love this feature because when I'm recording a video and I'm not really recording a video on the game and maybe just like a gameplay video, this is really useful, well not on this game because it doesn't have many GUIs that's gonna cover my screen, but if I click a hotkey on my keyboard, it will hide these GUIs. Now let's enable that because I obviously do want it. Use old material textures. Same thing as escape menu version and the death sound effects, you can turn this on if you want the old textures but I leave it on because I want the new ones. Preserve rendering quality, you might want to turn this on if you have a low end PC but turn it off if you know you can run it. Use alternate graphics quality selector, again if your PC can't run let's come over here settings and max graphics then you don't want to turn this on. 
basically what it does is it will add another 11 of these b little buttons here and it will absolutely blow up your PC. So let's turn it on because why not? Appearance, I just have it to dark because the GitHub is pretty like bright and it's easier to see here, but you can change it to whatever you want. And once you're done with everything and you've followed my tutorial, click install and click install again. Now you'll see the installing Roblox loading bar and just wait a few seconds. Okay, now once you have downloaded it, Roblox's app version will open up, but just close it down if you don't use it. Just go to the website version and go into your favorite game, which I don't have one, so I'm just going to be using this because it's pretty popular right now. So click play. And now, right off the bat, the gameplay is much smoother. Let's see how much smoother it got. So shift plus F5, and as you can see in the corner, it sometimes spikes to 300, and it's a stable 200 FPS that I'm getting. So as you can see, there is natural motion blur because of the high frame rate. And if we go to settings, we can turn this up to a whole lot. And obviously the escape menu has changed to the old version because I set it to that. And if we put our graphics quality to zero, I am getting infinite FPS. What? Yeah, I think this might be a bug, but infinite fps hey why not bro but yeah who wants to use graphics level one so i'm just gonna turn back up to max and enjoy oh i can't even change it there we go and enjoy this like this but yeah if this video has helped you out in any way make sure to smash that like button and that subscribe button just like how this guy is absolutely destroying me and comment down below how much fps you got and i'll see you in the next video goodbye guys